This is an update for Sunday, August 13th. We uh, made it back to Michigan for one more trip to pick up the last remaining bits and pieces of our stuff. Uh, the five-year-old and I were on the road for 15, 15 and a half hours yesterday. We left New Ulm at 6 o'clock a.m. and we rolled in here. It would have been about 9.30 Central time, uh, but it was 10.30 Eastern, so 10.30 here, 9.30 there. It was a, a bit of a drive. Uh, we'll be here through Wednesday and heading back probably 5, 6 o'clock in the morning to New Ulm on Thursday. This is the property. It's my in-law's property. It's where we lived. It's where my son grew up at in Michigan here. Uh, nice shade trees here. It's always been a good shady spot. Beyond those uh, other trees is an open field that belongs to a, a county park that's, I don't know, I'm, I don't know the exact acre. It's just over, it's over 100 acres. Lots of trails. The uh, Chippewa River runs through it. We'll go walk over here. Nice big open field, and if you walk down the fence line here, you'll run into an entrance into the park. We were really, really fortunate, God blessed us, that my in-laws happened to buy this house and it borders this park, so we could just walk in. Pretty amazing place. We've got back of the property here, little pond back here. Yeah, back, back over there, oh, I messed it up, is the trail that leads into the park. It's a two-tracker, leads to a covered bridge, crosses the river little shady area here to sit little waterfall thing my father-in-law built got another little garden way over there little it's the, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law made it it's kind of japanese themed i guess it's got a little thing in there you can sit on little little fan anyways yeah this is where we come from outside of town here in central michigan this is an update for Thursday, August 24th, 2023. The week has definitely not gone well. Uh, I hadn't even begun to expect the pace at which the foreign languages were going to require us to keep up with. I am mentally not capable of keeping up with this pace it's it's heavy uh both languages greek and hebrew wanted you to have the alphabets memorized essentially within the first day or two um and really you need to have these alphabets memorized and have character recognition down by the second day as far as i can tell because everything that you're you're taught it's completely based on character recognition and if you can't recognize the characters then you, you can't you really can't move on and I simply do not have the ability to pick up a, a foreign alphabet in such a short amount of time I've spent some time working on Hebrew before I even came here and still wasn't able to really pull things together um, I thought about trying to swap over to a three-year track from a two-year track to split Hebrew and Greek up, but at this point, I've, I've fallen so far behind in Greek because I can't do any of the, I just can't do it. I can't do the homework. I, I can't 
get anywhere with the quizzes because I have absolutely no character recognition at all. I, I can identify a few characters, but it's not at a place where it needs to be for me to be able to keep up pace in this class. It's, I'm just going to keep falling farther and farther behind. Uh, I'm still having some, I'm still not some, but I'm still having a lot of issues with migraines. Uh, they are, I've had one all week. I'm, I have one right now. I, I made it home after work last night, and I got out of work at 9.30, and uh, I mean, I got home around 10, you know, and I, I, I made some coffee, and I drank a cup of coffee, and I just tried to think and rationalize about stuff at about 11 o'clock, well, I uh, got my psychology reading out of my way, it took me about an hour, by the time I was done, I was about ready to pass out, falling asleep in my chair. Uh, there was no way I could even begin to continue studying for anything in regards to Greek today, that we would have had another test today. I would have been more about the alphabet. It would have been more things that I can't adequately do because I don't have an adequate understanding of Greek yet. Uh, and I'm just becoming aware of the limitations that I have because of my migraines, because I, I, I have them. I'm also physically not very fit in other ways, and that, that doesn't help as I just, 11, 12 o'clock rolls around I'm, I'm at night and, and I'm done. I'm just completely done. And I just, looking into the future, I don't see how I could possibly come up with enough time during, during the day going to having to go to class and work to be able to do any of my homework for any of my other classes. Uh, if I even managed to begin to keep up in Greek, I would spend all my time in Greek and I would have to completely stop doing stuff for any of my other classes and that's just not going to not going to work out. I spoke with our advisor the for the uh the three of us, the three second career guys about it and this was yesterday, and he's a he's a wonderful man, just a, a wonderful person. He deeply cares about all of us, um, and he I mean he encouraged me to continue on. I, I I told him that what I thought what I what I wanted to do was to see if I could step out of the program for a year and spend the next year trying to pull my medical issues and my physical issues in check and studying Hebrew and Greek at my own pace so that I can come back and have a decent understanding of the languages before I actually have to be in these classes. Um, and we, he, he still just encouraged me to continue on and I understand that. And so I, I left there still thinking that I was just gonna talk to uh, our, our, our dean about getting a, a three-year track built for me but after last night I just I, I don't see any way that I at my current place in life with my physical restraints and how I am I, I, I just don't see how I could possibly do this without making significant corrections in my life before continuing on with this um, I, I even if I manage to hold on and just kind of push my way through this, I would not have any time to be active in the church in any way, shape, or form. I would not have any way to really prove that I deserve in any way to go to seminary because getting through this program isn't a guarantee that you get an offer to go to seminary. You, they, you have to show the Senate that you are that you're capable of doing it and I, I I know my grades would be terrible I know I would struggle extremely hard right now and I I, I I can't put myself through that and then get to the end and not actually make it into seminary because if I'm still having migraines I don't know if I could get through seminary anyways uh, I'm 
I'm waiting to hear back from our academic dean about what to do, whether I'm going to be allowed to step out for a year and come back next year, or if my time at MLC is done. So at this point, I'm, I am just waiting to hear back from him. I'm going to start looking for an actual full-time job. Uh, I will continue to study Hebrew and Greek at my own pace. Um, I'll do that regardless of whether they're going to invite me back to MLC or not. I'm, I'm not going to give up on that. I, I have a lot of work that I want to do, and I just need to be able to do it in my own time. And college is just not the place for me or really anybody to be able to do things at their own pace. You, you have a huge class. You have to keep up with them, and if you can't, then you, you can't. So I... I hope and you know, I, I pray that they will let me come back and that I can pull all of these things together that I need to get fixed and that I can succeed at this, but at this point I, I don't know. This, this really has, it's been my life's work to get here. Everything in my life has led me here. The struggle has caused me a lot of pain throughout my life. I am a bit confused as I, I, I had just, I guess, hoped and believed that this was it, this is where I was supposed to be, and that the migraines would go away, that God would intervene, and I would be able to succeed at this and move on. But as we all know, it is the Lord's will that is to be done and not our own will. There, there, there's a reason why I'm here. I, I didn't question it when I was the last time when I, when I finally was, you know, called for the last time in my life, I just immediately put in motion dropping everything in Michigan and coming here with my family. I mean, we left all of our lives behind, everything we've, I've ever worked at to get here. Um, I am at a point where I'm just kind of got to sit tight and wait and see how things pan out. I, I'm not sure where I'm going to go if I don't make it back to MLC, but if I don't make it back to MLC, if they won't let me back, my next plan is to pursue this independently. Uh, try to find, find a way, maybe start a house church or something, you know, plant my own church somewhere. Um, this is, it's, it's very difficult. It wasn't a decision that I, I, I take lightly. As I said, this has been over half of my life struggling to get here, but it, it, it may just simply be too late for me. Or it's never been the Lord's will that I, go through this program, only that I listen and, you know, have blind faith and come here and bring my family with me. I, I don't know. Of course, we never really know what what the Lord has in store for us. It's, <laughs> it's one of those things. Um, but I will continue to try to post videos to this channel as... I, I learn things and I figure stuff out as to what's going on. Uh, yeah. God bless everyone who watches this and everyone else in this world. Uh, we have a wonderful, beautiful Lord. 
and all things are done in his time, even if they don't necessarily sync up with our wants and needs. So Friday, after meeting with the advisor for us second career guys and the academic dean and discussing some things and trying to figure stuff out, it I, I, I decided that it was in my best interest to sign up to sign the withdrawal forms from MLC for the year. I will be returning next fall, but I have just got too much stuff that I've come to the realization that I need to take care of. A lot of it is physical issues. I'm considerably overweight and it drags me down pretty bad. i exhausted and tired all the time and I just, there's no way I can physically deal with all the studying that's going to be involved in this. Um, this will also give me a year to independently study Greek and Hebrew so that I have a much better understanding of both languages before I go back next year so that I don't get completely, totally, and utterly overwhelmed when I walk into those classes. Uh, I'm still, I mean, I'm sad about it, quite sad about it, but I feel at peace about the decision and ultimately I know that it was the correct decision. I can't just, I can't go into this doing this like this. I, I have to be physically healthy, I have to be mentally healthy, and I have to be spiritually healthy. So we're going to get on an exercise program, going to get on a much more stringent Bible study program. I do listen to the Bible all the time when I'm at work, but you know, listening to it is it's not the same as actually sitting down and studying it. Even just reading it is not the same as sitting down and studying it. If you're just cutting, you know, front cover to back cover over and over again, you're not putting any deep thought. You're not really get digging into anything, and so it's just going to be cover to cover like any book. So, for now, I'm stepping away, but I will be back, and we will be going to seminary. Um, the non-traditional student group uh, is still going to be part of my life. Uh, the second career pastor advisor asked me that I continue to be part of the group because they don't want me to feel like just because I'm taking this year off that I'm not part of their greater family. Uh, these people are amazing. I, this, I, I'm still quite shocked by all the love that I've run into, run into here. It's it's absolutely amazing. It's a, it's a wonderful place. I mean, New Ulm itself is a wonderful place, but Martin Luther College is truly a wonderful place. I mean, even if if you're watching this and you're a Wells member or a member of a, the ELS church, and you just want a good school to go to, even if it's not pastors, if you're just going to staff ministry or you know a teacher or something like that, this is this is the place to go. It, it, it's it's a wonderful, wonderful place. But that's where we're at for now. I will keep keep up with the updates for next week and uh, see what's going on. I'm looking for a job. Yeah, that's, that's the next thing. I'm looking for a job. I was working as a supervisor custodian at the ECLC, the Early Childhood Learning Center for Martin Luther College. But it was a student position, so as of Friday, I can't work it anymore. However, there is a full-time custodial position available at MLC. So I'm headed into MLC tomorrow to talk to the head of the custodial departments and such to uh, see about just transferring over to a full-time position for the year, which would be great because I can still, I, I'm sure I'm sure we can figure out a way to still work the ECLC into that. And then next year when I go back, I can hopefully just transfer back over to my student uh, supervisor position that I had. It would be quite nice. I really would like to just stay on campus as much as possible. Um, yeah, that, that, that's, 
that's that's what's going on. I, I don't have a lot else to say right now. Uh, <laughs> it's just been it's been been a week. It's been quite the week. Anyways, uh, may the Lord bless and keep all of you always. And I will talk to you later.